Hey, Fingsters. Python is very powerful, so you can condense many algorithms into a single line of code. And so the natural question arises, can you write a for loop in a single line of code? And uh, yeah, in this video I want to explain this mission critical detail to you. Um, so what are, how to write a for loop in a single line of code, basically. And so there are two options. We will look at both options to write a um, for loop in a single line. So let's... Um, Let's maybe have a look at an example for loop. So, so we have, for example, for i in range 10, we print something, yeah? We print i, for example. If you execute this, you see it simply uh, prints uh, 10 numbers to the to the Python shell. So this is a for loop you already know. And now the default, uh, like the simple answer is to just write this for loop in a single line of code, yeah? Like this. So this actually works. I mean, um, as, you, as, you, as you see, so let's make this a bit small. Okay, as you see, um, here we have the same output. So this uh, leads to a valid uh, response. So you can write, if you have a loop body consisting of only one, um, uh, of only one statement, then you can just write it in a single line of code. It's not a problem. It's just not, not very readable in Python, but this is another question. So you can simply write it in a single line of code in Python. And I think you can even do something like this. You can have the, uh, the colon and this, uh, um, uh, uh, this, uh, what is it even? I don't know. So you, you can write, uh, this, this one, this, um, comma thing, and, uh, you can, you can print another statement like, uh, say, um, hello, for example. And now you have even two statements in the loop body. So both of them are considered to be in the loop body. So let's check whether this actually works. Yes, it works. Okay. So now in the, in the loop body consists of, uh, printing the value of the integer i and printing the um, word hello. Okay, so you can even write something like this. So this is a very simple way of writing a single line of uh, writing a for loop in a single line of Python code. So and while um, yeah, this answer li like uh, may seem uh, trivial. The question actually is whether we can write a more complicated for loop now in a single line of code without actually cluttering it too much. So let's consider this example. You have uh, for i in range 10 and now you check, you have an if statement. If i is smaller than 5, for example, you do something like this. So you, you um, calculate the square, um, uh, the power of 2 of i and you do something and then you otherwise you calculate j as zero, for example, and you print J, for example. So it's a, like a complicated, more complicated um, uh, loop body. Okay, so this is loop body, it's a bit more complicated. So now can you actually write this in a single line of code? So this this is some output, so it produces some output. If, the, uh, if I is smaller than five, we simply square I, and otherwise we take zero. So this is the output of the loop. And actually, as it turns out, we can very concisely write this in a single line of code. So let's start writing for i in range 10 again. And now we can use um, the ternary operator. So we have the result um, i to the power of 2. So our i squared. And uh, if i is smaller than 5 and otherwise simply return 0. So as you may see, this is ex exactly the same as this com more complicated loop body. So we have a print statement. In any case, we print j, but now we simply skip the variable names j because we just right away we um, write, uh, so we give the, we have the square number if we are in this branch. So if i is smaller than five, we simply return the square number. Otherwise we, re we return zero, okay? And we, we use this condition to check which branch to, uh, which return value to have. And this, this we return uh, as an argument uh, and pipe it into the print function and the print function then just gives us the result. So if you do this, you see we have two times the same uh, loop output. So this is the second output of our second one-liner. So this also works nicely. Good, but then there's an alternative way, which is the uh, list comprehension way. So and being hated by newbies, experienced Python coders, they can't live without this awesome Python feature called list comprehension. So say we want to create a list of square squared numbers, then the traditional way would be to write something like on these lines. So we have like squares, we have an, uh, initially an empty list. And now we have a for loop again for i in range 10, we simply append a value to the to list, for example, yeah, and what do we append? Say the square number. 
and then after this we print squares. So this is like the traditional way and many, actually many people uh, who just start out with Python would do something on this line. Maybe they come from other programming languages like uh, C++ or Java. And of course, this makes a lot of sense to write it this way. Okay, so we create a list of square numbers this way. But actually, again, there's a much, much more concise way of uh, creating this same list um, and uh, in a single line of code. So let's write it this way. We uh, use, like, uh, we, the, we cr still create the squares variable, we still create a list, but now we fill the list with some uh, values more intelligently. So we have, uh, we square the value of i for i in range 10. Okay, so this is exactly the same. List comprehension consists of two things, which the first one is the expression, the second one is the context. The context gives us um, all values of a certain iterable and it assigns those values to the um, loop variable i you can define your own loop variable where you want and you can use then this loop variable which is at each point in time it's a single value and you can use this to define the next list element okay and the next is so first first i takes on the value zero so we square zero which is zero then i takes on the value one so we square one second it takes on the value two so we square two and so on okay so we do this until we range uh, we reach value nine so i has value nine so we square value nine and now we can simply do the same. So we print squares and you see now it uh, leads ex to exactly the same output, but we have like saved uh, three, four lines of code. So we could even write this in a single line. We could, we could even, so we don't even need the squares list name here because I mean, it's just not necessary. Yeah, you can directly output this to the shell and it works beautifully. So this actually accomplishes exactly the same thing you can um, you can have these two ways of writing a for loop in a single line of code. You can use list comprehension if you want to create a list, actually, um, or you can simply execute uh, the for loop in a single line. So you can have just for uh, some iter iterator and the loop variable. So for i in range ten, for example, you have the colon and then you have the, the whole loop bo body, and you can you can um, you can uh, divide the different statements you want to have in a loop body uh, with a semicolon. <laughs> this was the term I, uh, I searched previously. Okay, so you can use the semicolon. Okay, that's it. Thanks for uh, watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye.